Thanks for checking out this video. Uh, as the title says, I'm going to be talking about the new Creepshow series that's being put together by Shutter Streaming Service. And uh, first of all, if you don't know about Shutter, I have a video all about Shutter and why you should be subscribed to Shutter if you like horror. It is basically, in my opinion at the moment, like the premier place to go, especially for streaming for horror at the moment. It is like five bucks a month uh, if you do month to month, but I think it's like four if you pay for a year up front. Anyway, they've been doing a lot of cool exclusive stuff. Uh, I don't know if you've heard, if people have heard, but I think they announced it like early last year that they're doing a creep show series. Yes, creep show as in the movie from 1982 that was uh, done by George A. Romero in, in concert with Stephen King. And I think Stephen King actually showed up in it at one point, uh, as well as his son, Joe Hill, who is currently a writer. But anyway, they had a press release they put out. I had said on another video that I'm currently getting the Shutter press releases, so I'll continually be doing these kind of update videos for Shutter as I get information so I can pass it along to anyone who just wants to watch a video about it as opposed to read about it and have to like look around. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, definitely do a subscribe for me um, because you'll know when I'm doing these videos, especially uh, hit the notification bell then, and you'll know every time I'm putting one of these up. Uh, like I was saying, I just got this press release today, so this is hot off the presses. This was just announced today. Um, one of the things, this Creepshow series is supposed to be kind of a series like Masters of Horror, which was done on the, sh on, I want to say Showtime, no, I think it was Stars back in the early 2000s, and that was kind of like an anthology of a bunch of horror films, like short films. That was curated by Mick Garris, which, by the way, I'm almost done watching through every single one of those I didn't originally see it, but I'm going through all of those now and ranking them and going to do an overall review video with all my ranked uh, episodes. So that'll be coming out at some point. I still have two more to go. It's been slow because I'm getting it through Netflix DVD. Yes, I still do that because they have a great selection. Uh, better than the Blu-ray because a lot of stuff hasn't come out on Blu-ray that is awesome and old. So anyway, just going to read out some information uh, about Creepshow that was put out today. So it is going to be serial, uh, like an anthology, and at the moment, they just announced their first casting. Prior to this, they hadn't been saying who was casting. They had said that Greg Nicotero, who is very well known for doing awesome uh, practical effects and has been involved, I believe, with The Walking Dead, which, sorry, I don't watch The Walking Dead. It's not my thing. Um, so he's helming the whole thing. He's producing it. He is doing a little bit of directing. They did confirm that this, I believe it's this first one that they're announcing the casting for. He is directing that. I don't know if he's directing any others. They kind of insinuate with the way that they wrote it that he's not directing all of them. And maybe he's only doing that one. Maybe he's doing like another one here or there. But he's mainly overseeing the show. And I'm fine with that. Greg Nicotero, very well known in the horror community. Very well respected. So... I have very high hopes for this, and I kind of have a feeling, this is just a feeling, because I, I can't go off anything with this, I kind of feel like it's probably going to be better than the Twilight Zone that's currently being done, which I think is on like CBS, and Jordan Peele's overseeing that. I don't think it's because of Jordan Peele, I think he's awesome, I think it's because that's on like a network channel, and this is on Shudder, where they can show nudity and gore and profanity and like you can get crazy you can do whatever you want so i'm more excited for the creep show series than twilight zone but i will watch the new twilight zone so anyway so the casting there's going to be a short story that's adapted from a stephen king short um short story a short film that's adapted from a stephen king short story called gray matter and it's being adapted by byron willinger and philip de blasi not really familiar with them. Uh, it says they they were involved with The Commuter. I have no idea about that. They may be kind of like new-ish to this kind of stuff as far as like horror goes. I don't know. Don't know those names. But they're, they've announced three people who have been cast in Grey Matter. Uh, Giancarlo Esposito from Better, Better Call Saul. I uh, haven't really seen much from him. But the other two people I have, Tobin Bell, who's best known for his turn as... Um, John in Saw. As some people say he, he's Jigsaw, but he, I mean, he is, but Billy's kind of Jigsaw, so it's, I don't know. But anyway, Tobin Bell from the Saw films, people know him best for that, but he was also in the movie The Firm, and he did a really good job in The Firm. He was also in a really awesome episode of The X-Files. Super cool. I met the guy 
really, really nice guy, super nice guy. Uh, he and I actually talked about my name, Carlin. We ended up talking about George Carlin for a while, and he was talking about how he wishes that type of comedy was still al alive. And yeah, it's interesting. I have a personalized thing signed by him on, on my wall up here where you can't see it, but someday I'll maybe take that down, show it. But anyway, uh, so it's it's um, Giancarlo Esposito, Tobin Bell, and Adrian Barbeau. A stalwart of one of the stalwarts of the horror and sci-fi communities, uh, Adrian Barbeau, who I've also met and is a, a an extremely lovely person. She is so nice. She is so wonderful. Um, so she's going to be in that as well. So I'm. I mean, I was sold on this as soon as they they um, announced that they were doing a creep show series on Shutter. I was sold because A, Shudder's been doing an awesome job. B, Greg Nicotero is overseeing it. C, Stephen King has some of his material being sourced for it. And D, now this. <laughs> now the, now I see these people. Um, so, Gray Matter, there's a little synopsis of what Gray Matter is going to be like. Doc and Chief, two old timers in a small dying town, brave a storm to check on Richie, an alcoholic single father after encountering his terrified son at the local convenience store. The story was published in 1973 originally, and it was part of King's best-selling 1978 collection called Night Shift. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the backstory on it. it. Obviously, the description doesn't give you a ton, but going further down, there's more information about some of the other people involved with it, and this is another thing that really sold me on it. I saw legit horror writers, like people who write short stories and write horror books whose material is going to be sourced for this. Now that gets me excited because a lot of like, a lot of horror films and a lot of shorts, not that it's a terrible thing, but they end up getting um, written by people who haven't ever done books or done short stories. And I just feel like the richer, better developed stories come from people who are legitimate authors. So when I see them working in conjunction with legitimate horror authors, it gets me crazy excited, as you can kind of tell. So, a little bit of information. Um, it's going to be six episodes in the season, for which to me is a little bit depressing because I would like definitely like more than six. I feel like that's a little bit light, but honestly, I'll take whatever. I understand they just need to see like how it's going to go initially, and then they can kind of renew. So, okay with six. I mean, I'd like more, but you know, I understand it. So they're going to have a one called By the Silver Water of Lake Champlain, and that is sourced from a, a script. I, actually, I believe the script is, is done by Joe Hill, who is uh, Stephen King's son. There's a whole story behind why he goes by Joe Hill. Um, it's not super long, though, actually. I'll just tell you real quick. He was actually writing as Joe Hill for maybe about 10 years and the reason was because he wanted to write under that name because he didn't want people to know he was the son of Stephen King because he didn't want any preferential treatment. He wanted to get published on his own merit. So I think it was around 10 years or so he had been writing under that name. And he was getting awards and he was, you know, selling books. And then finally King Clean was just like, I'm actually Stephen King's son. So gave him even more notoriety, but, you know, got to respect that. Uh, there's a segment called House of the Head, and this one's going to be done by Josh Mallerman. Now, people may not know Josh Mallerman's, uh, his name. I sure do. I'm on his third book. Uh, he's got a fourth book coming out this year and a fifth book coming out this year, to be honest. Uh, this guy's pumping out books. He was in a band. I forget the name of his band. Never heard the music. But he's busted on this scene in a very big way. He wrote the Bird Box book which, however you felt about the film, I didn't really like the film all that much on Netflix, mainly because I had read the book that he wrote pr well prior to that, and I think the book is so much better. Uh, it's really, really hard to take a book that's focused on someone who can't see and make that put that into a visual medium and still tell the story effectively, in my opinion. So I don't really like that about it. But um, Josh Mallerman's awesome. I read his book, Black Mad Wheel, I was in eh, on that. His writing's really good with that book, but I just didn't like the overall story. And I'm currently on his book, Unbury Carol, which is super interesting. And once again, the writing is really good. And he's got another one coming out very soon called Inspection. And then he's going to have one at the end of the year coming out that is a prequel to Bird Box. 
which was kind of a surprise announcement very recently, within the past few weeks, I think. So I like Josh Mallerman. I'm all in. Then there's one called The Companion, and it's going to be written by Joe R. Lansdale, Casey Lansdale, and Keith Lansdale. I don't know the relation there. I assume they're family. There's my cat. She likes Shudder too. Don't you, Chloe? No, she's not paying attention. Anyway, um, uh, Joe R. Lansdale. I've actually not read any of his stuff. I have seen a short film here and there that his material was sourced for. And I've heard him do some interviews, and he seems like a really cool guy and probably an awesome writer. I do plan to start reading his stuff, too. I know he's been around for a while as far as horror authors go, but I will be getting to it. So I'm excited about that. I know he is good. He is very well respected. Then there's one called The Man in the Suitcase, and this is by Christopher Buhlman. Don't know anything about Christopher Buhlman, but The Man in the Suitcase sounds interesting. There's one called All Hallows' Eve that is by Bruce Jones. I don't know. I also don't know Bruce Jones, but All Hallows Eve, always for something with that type of title. Then there's one called Night of the Paw, and this is by John Esposito. I mean, it sounds kind of like a monkey's paw type thing, but hopefully it's not. Most likely it won't be, because that's a little overdone. And then the last one is Bad Wolf Down by Rob Schrab. Schrab? Schrab? Something like that. Um, and they say additional titles and casting are going to be announced relatively soon. So most likely when I get that, I will make one of these videos. And apparently the series is going to be wrapping with filming this week. When this video comes out, it should be wrapped up by the, by the end of this week. So that gets me excited. There, there's nothing in there about when we can expect it to be showing up on the shutter streaming service, but hopefully it's on the sooner end rather than later. Um, Honestly, I'd be I'd be cool if they hit it around October so that, you know, when people's maybe a little bit like mid-September or something. So people start getting geared up for Halloween and for October in general. So um, I don't know, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, hopefully this was uh, informative for people. They found information that they wanted on it. And uh, please hit that subscribe. It really helps me a lot. And you'll always know when I'm doing these videos. So anyway, thanks again. And until next time, keep it brutal.